वेलकम टू मैथ्स इज इजी हेलो फ्रेंड्स एज देर इज ऑलवेज अ नीड ऑफ हेल्प इन कैलकुलेटिंग और सॉल्विंग मैथमेटिक्स क्वेश्चन ऑन डिफरेंट लेवल्स आई एम हियर फॉर द सेम टुडे इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू सॉल्व चैप्टर क्यूब्स एंड क्यूब रूट्स एक्सरसाइज फोर पॉइंट टू पब्लिकेशन हाउस गोयल ब्रदर्स प्रकाशन क्लास एट क्वेश्चन नंबर वन सो इफ यू वॉन्ट टू चेक the solution of other chapters like rational numbers square and square roots exponents factorization of algebraic expressions and the earlier exercise of this chapter that is cube and cube roots you can go by the description box where all the links are available so let's not to waste the time start with the question number 1 of exercise 4.2 in question number 1 we have been given to find out the cube roots of the following numbers so first what we have to find out of cube root cube root of 1728 so for finding out the cube root of 1728 we have to go by the method of prime factorization so for finding out the prime factorization we will make the factors of it so first it will go by 2 answer would come as 864 then again it will go by 2 432 then again it will go by 2 that is 216 then again it will go by 2 108 again it will go by 2 54 again it will go by 2 27 then it will go by 3 now 3 nine is a 27 3 three is a 9 and 3 one is a 3 hope the prime factorization is very much clear so further how will do how we will do this question we will just write the prime factorization so here prime prime factorization is 6 times 2 and 3 times 3 so for finding out the cube root we will take the pair from pair of 3 twos we will take 1 two from pair of 3 twos we will take 1 two and from the pair of 3 Three, we will take one three, so we can write here the cube root. This is the sign of cube root. One seven two eight is two two is a four three is a twelve, which is our answer. Hope the answer is clear. If still there is any type of doubt, you can ask me by commenting into the comment box. Now come to the second part. So the second part is two thousand one hundred one hundred and ninety-seven. So it will go by thirteen one sixty-nine. It will go by thirteen only. Then it will go by thirteen. So so the factors of two one nine seven is thirteen into thirteen into thirteen. So we can write here like this: cube root of minus two one nine seven is Minus thirteen. Why we have put here? Because we have to write the negative sign out of this cube root. And if we write the negative sign out of this cube root, the factors of two thousand one hundred one hundred and ninety-seven is thirteen, and this negative sign automatically will be coming with this fact. So minus thirteen is the cube root of minus two thousand one hundred one hundred and ninety-seven. Now come to the third part. So the third part is thirteen thousand eight hundred and twenty-four. It will go by two only. So six nine one two. Then it will go by two three four five six. It will go by two again. One seven two eight. It will go by two again. That is eight hundred and sixty-four. It will go by two again. That is. Four hundred and thirty-two. Then it will go by two again. That is two hundred and thirty-four. Four hundred and thirty-two. Then it will go by two again. That is two hundred and thirty-four. Four hundred and thirty-two. Then it will go by two again. That is two hundred and thirty-four. Four hundred and thirty-
216 then 2 that is 108 then 2 that is 54 that uh, again it will go by 2 that is 27 and it will go by 3 Three nines are three. Three is a nine, and three ones are three. So the prime factorization of minus thirteen thousand eight hundred and twenty-four is three times two, three times two, and three times two, and three times three. So three times two, then three times two, then three times two, then Three times three, so we can say the cube root of minus thirteen thousand eight hundred and twenty-four is two into two into two into three. That is two two is a four, four two is a eight, eight three is a twenty-four. That is minus twenty-four. So this, if we put Cube root here, so it will become positive. So thirteen thousand eight hundred and twenty-four. The cube root of thirteen thousand eight hundred and twenty-four. Because of this negative, it will come as minus twenty-four. That is our answer. Hope the question is clear. Still, if it uh, it is having any doubt, you can ask me by commenting into the comment box. Now come to the fourth part. So the fourth part is. Ninety-one thousand one hundred and twenty-five. We'll be having the prime factorization of this number too. It will go by five. Answer would be five ones are five, and five eights are forty. Two two five. It will go by five again. Three six four five. It will go by five again. Seven hundred and twenty-nine. It will go by three. That is three to the six, forty-three. It will go by three again. That is eighty-one. It will go by three again. That is twenty-seven. It will go by three again. That is nine. It will go by three again. That is so five one time. Three and three. So the factors of nine double one two five is five into five into five into three, in and again three into three into three. So from this pair of five, only two times three is there. Yes. From this pair of five, five into three into three. So we can say. Cube root of nine double one two five is five three is a fifteen three is a forty five, which is our answer. Only one pair of five, one pair of three, one pair. Of this these were these were the extra ones. Five three and three, so five into three into three, that is forty five. Now come to the fifth part. So the next number is four thousand and ninety-six. We have to find out the cube root of this number. So four zero nine six. We'll be having the cube root of this number by the method of prime factorization. So two zero four eight again. Then it will go by one zero two four. Then again it will go by two only. That is five hundred and twelve. Then two only. That is two hundred and fifty-six. Two again, that is one twenty-eight. Then two again, that is sixty-four. Then two again, that is thirty-two. Then two again, that is sixteen. Two again, that is eight. The sixteen. Two fours are eight. Two twos are four. Two ones are two. So how many pairs of two are there? One pair, two pair, three pair, and four pair. So we can write. Four pairs of two. That is two into two into two, then two into two into two, then two into two into two, and then two into two into two. That is two 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 two. So we can say the cube root of four zero nine six is two into two into two into two. That is two two is a four two is a eight, and eight two is a sixteen, which is a 
answer hope the question is very much clear have the full lens of fifth part now come to the sixth part so the sixth part is 4913 so it will go by 17 it will go by 23 so 23 so for having the uh, prime factorization of 4913 Uh, the first prime factor is seventeen, not twenty-three. It will go by seventeen only. So seventeen to eighty-nine, then again seventeen. That is seventeen, and then again seventeen on the side. So we can say the cube root of four nine one three is seventeen into seventeen into seventeen. That is seventeen. Yes. Hope the question is very much clear. Now come to the seventh part. So the seventh part is minus forty eight forty two thousand eight hundred and seventy five. That is forty two thousand eight hundred and seventy five. It will go by five only. So five eight five za seven za five za. It will go by five again. One seven one five. It will go by five again. That is three hundred forty three. And it will go by seven. That is forty nine. Will go by seven. Seven sevens are forty-nine, and it will go by seven as a sum. So we can say the factors of minus. We can say the factors of minus cube root of forty-two thousand eight hundred and seventy-five. Factors are. This is positive. So factors are one pair of five and then one pair of seven. So from this pair, from this pair, one happens to be come out. So we can say the cube root of forty-two thousand eight hundred and seventy-five is five seven za thirty-five, which is our answer. Hope the question is very much clear. Now come to the eighth part, which is the last part of question number one. So the last part of question number one is nine thousand two hundred and sixty-one. So it will go by three. That is three three zero nine zero zero eight zero seven zero. Then three one zero two nine. Then three three hundred and forty-three. Now it will go by seven only. Forty-nine. Will go by seven seven za forty nine and seven one za. So we can say that is minus thirty five. So we can say cube root of nine two six one. So having this pair and having this pair is three into seven. That is twenty one. Hope the question is clear. If still any type of doubt is there, you can ask me by commenting into the comment box. If you like my videos or if it is somewhere helpful to you, kindly subscribe to my channel, share the videos as much as possible, and hit the like button. Thank you so much.